Hi, my name's Brad. Um, I describe myself as an alcoholic and addict in recovery. Um, my recovery journey has been a tough one a lot of the time and has taken a long time for me to get into recovery from when I first acknowledged that I had a problem with alcohol and drugs. Um, but I'm happy to sit here today and be able to say that it, I haven't had a, a drink of alcohol or used any drugs for a little bit more than 10 and a half years. 28th of May made 20, 10 and a half years. Um, I uh, I've done a lot of things to try and in my recovery journey. I've uh, been to Alcoholics Anonymous, I've, I've been to Narcotics Anonymous groups and I've been in long and short, long and short term rehab, uh, residential rehabs over the, over the years. Um, the first time that I did anything to try and address my uh, alcohol issues was that I attended an AA meeting in 1989 in the central coast of New South Wales, uh, guided there by my wife at the time, who uh, was beginning to be get really frustrated and stressed out by having to live with me and the way that I behaved when I was under the influence of alcohol and drugs. And um, I walked out of that meeting with uh, excited and uh, because I heard the way that people talked in that meeting that there was a solution to what I was going through. Um, and I, I followed that up with a few more meetings, but. Uh, lapsed back into drinking as I did many, many times over the years. Um, a few more years went by after that and uh, the ma my marriage broke down because um, the poor girl that I lived with couldn't stay with me anymore. There wasn't any animosity or uh, dislike between us, but she just said that she just had to go because she couldn't take living with me the way that I was when I was under the influence. Um, my life went downhill fairly rapidly after that because it had been a bit of a codependent relationship and um, she enabled a lot of my behaviour and rescued me from a lot of situations, making sure that I got home from places and didn't get stuck. I probably would have got arrested several times over the years if she wasn't there to rescue me a lot of times. Um, and as I said, it went downhill rapidly and I, uh, I lost my job. Um, I'd worked for years in hospitality and that's um, always uh, a good job for an alcoholic because it, it uh, got me a lot of free alcohol and um, hanging around with a lot of other people who drank heavily so my behaviour wasn't didn't stand out all that much around them people. But after I lost the job, um, the downhill fall was rapid and continued and um, I, st I, I spent all my... Uh, money reserves, I accessed all the superannuation money that I had um, and started to run out of money for drink for the first time really uh, in my alcoholic career, I suppose you'd call it. And um, I started for the first time in the, in the mid 90s to uh, have uh, grand mal seizures from alcohol withdrawal. Um, I, probably, I experienced more than, had more than 25 of those and um, I was uh, being admitted to, hot, to a hospital in Wyong in New South Wales and after about four admissions there, one of the nurses said that, they, that I needed to do something about uh, my life and that she wouldn't treat me if I turned up again after having a withdrawal seizure. I went to a short-term rehab after that, a four-week rehab out in Campbelltown, but didn't do much to change. I just had a rest off the alcohol, came back out and um, continued my same lifestyle after a short time. Um, this went on and um, I couldn't get work and I, like alcohol and drugs became mainly cannabis, became the focus of my life. And um, in 1999, uh, things got re were getting worse and worse and I, I went to the Salvation Army Bridge program for 10 months but still sat in there and didn't come to the realisation um, 
that I really needed to change the way that I thought about life and thought about myself and deal with the issues that I was going through. Um, and so, but didn't do anything about it. Just stayed in a safe haven away from alcohol. I call it like living in the problem. I was living in the problem, not living in the solution. Trying to run away from alcohol instead of, and drugs instead of learning how to live amongst them. Um, I came out of there and relapsed again. Uh, about an eight, 18 months later, I went back in there, back into that another short term, the relapse program that the Salvation Army run. And um, <clears throat> was, was okay again, but couldn't, when I came out, still couldn't cope with the stresses of life and went back to drinking and, and drugging again. Um, I, I relocated, did a geographical in 2003 from New South Wales and came up to the Northern Territory and um, continued to try and run away from the alcohol and the drugs and went out to, and worked in a remote community for eight years. Um, but as it, each time I came into town, I would get really sick and drink too much and, and use drugs. And I continued to smoke cannabis daily, more or less the, the whole eight years that I was out there in the remote community. Um, but, the, but things all changed in uh, 2011 and I was arrested for the fourth time for DUI and also charged with dangerous driving um, and spent two, two nights in Alice Springs uh, prison and finally hit a rock bottom far enough down where I made the decision that I really needed to change. Um, I was lucky enough to, uh, after two nights in the prison, to be put on the, uh, the, uh, the smart court program that they were running at the time. I had to attend court weekly and see the magistrate and um, I began attending Alcoholics Anonymous again in Alice Springs here four, four nights a week, uh, built back up to working. Um, dealt with a lot of my issues, went to counselling with a psychologist here in Alice Springs. Uh, I really think that the 12-step program is really helpful for people to, as a self-improvement program that can be, for me, has been the foundation of a lot of personal development. Um, you know, and like I said, I haven't had a drink or a drug since uh, the 28th of November 2011. And since then, my life has just gone ahead in leaps and bounds as far as I'm concerned. I have, um, I work nowadays as a drug and alcohol counsellor at Hollyoak in Alice Springs. Um, I've done a lot of study um, over the years, began by ga ga obtaining Cert 4 in Community Services, Cert 4 in AOD. I've done a graduate diploma in uh, drug and alcohol counselling and I, at the moment I have uh, two and a half subjects, halfway through a semester, two and a half subjects to go in a master's in counselling. Um, I've been able to get two mortgages I've got at the moment. I've got a, a, where I live and I've got an investment property. Um, I've, takes a long, takes a while but I've, I've uh, got good friendships with good positive people who uh, some of them drink but they haven't got an they aren't alcoholics they haven't got an alcohol misuse for any alcohol misuse problems and um, life is just so much better but what it took was action from me to change the type of person that I was and the way that I viewed the world and to be able to uh, understand myself my thoughts and my emotions and be able to learn to cope with life's ups and downs on life's terms and um, yeah it's just been a pleasure to be invited to come and do this uh, little talk today and um, hopefully my story might be, a ha might be able to help some other people that are going through uh, alcohol and drug issues in their life yeah and that's, that'll do.